What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna be making a video just showing my PC gaming setup. This is where I play my games, this is where I make my videos, this is just where I enjoy my entertainment. So let's go ahead and get started. This is my quote unquote PC desk. I have made a full video dedicated just to this, but as of right now we're just gonna go ahead and retouch on it just a little bit for you guys, but I do suggest you go back and watch that other video. I game on a Logitech G502 Proteus Core mouse and a Corsair Gaming K70 keyboard with Cherry MX Red switches. At times, I also like to use that Xbox One controller, which is plugged into a Sabrent USB hub, which is using the K70 pass-through, and that's my iPhone stand right there, which is also plugged into that USB hub. I have a few extra USB ports available. Also, when I'm making my videos or listening to music or playing games, I use my Beat Solo HDs. For my monitor, I'm using a Sony Bravia 50 inch LED TV. It has 120 hertz refresh rate. Very good quality, very clean. Here I have a very lonely Xbox One and PS4. On the top shelf, that's my Vizio 5.1 surround sound soundbar. Behind me, I will have my two rear speakers, and on the left side is my sub. And there's my computer. So I went with the Zalman Z9 U3 case. I love its sleek design. I love that all the ports are up front. It has a fan controller right, on, right there as well with a digital number that shows me what my fans are. Very nice, very good airflow, and just overall great, great case. And also room for growth was what's important to me. Now that it's open, let's go ahead and just take a look inside what components I'm using. Right off the bat, you'll notice I have an Intel i5-4690K processor and two sticks of Vengeance Corsair RAM equals 8 gigs. Here you notice my EVGA GeForce 960 Super Super Clock graphics card. And that's just a basic 2 terabyte Western Digital hard drive. And this GPU does come with 4 gigabytes of DDR5 dedicated VRAM. And this is a Antec Earthwatch 650 power supply. I need to get this switched out with a modular so I can clean up all that wiry junk at the bottom there, which is driving me crazy. But I did get that from a very old computer, so I will be replacing that soon. Well, that is my setup, guys, for now. Things do change all the time, so I will keep you guys posted. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. And I will definitely try to put all the links at the bottom to everything I have so you could get a look. Thank you, guys. Peace.